everyone frederick here simple system trading a quick video today on a, a new signal study but first a risk disclosure trading involves substantial risk of loss it's not suitable for all investors trading it's suitable for you you can lose all or more than your initial investment these videos are for educational purposes only and you should not be seen as trading advice or an implied promise or guarantee that you will profit or limit your losses in any way I'm not a financial advisor, I do not give any trading recommendations, and you should read the full disclosure in terms on the website. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, today I'm going to show you a new signal study. It's available in the uh, SST Automated Trader uh, study, and can be used to fade a price level subgraph. Um, if you are in share a chart, uh, for instance, you use a pivot point study, these lines you see are actual subgraphs. Subgraph can hold a value for each bar in the chart. And in this case, these are uh, values that refer to price on this uh, price level here. <clears throat> so each of these subgraphs can be used with the um, signal study to generate a fading signal. And what is a fading signal? Well, say we take um, <clears throat> this uh, price level here. This is the uh, uh, level we want to watch. Then we would have a sell fade here and a buy fade here uh, when price moves down. Price moves up, you have a sell fade here and if it moves back up again comes down it's a buy there so you can switch between those levels this would be a sell fade when price moves from below to that level and then you can fade that uh, with a trade so you can um, uh, use these price levels in the study to um, generate those signals so let's uh, check it out uh, I have that signal uh, study loaded here. It's from the uh, custom uh, bundle, the other trading bundle. It has the fade value signal study in there. It's got a few other ones as well. I, I add a few that help other uh, clients with their automated trading using the uh, other trading study. Um, this one will be helpful as well. So the settings are here and you would need to identify the price level you want to use in this case the pivot points study and the r1 you're going to use <clears throat> uh, this is a um, price level that's there for a day so each day it starts a new level you want to make sure you set this correctly if you use weekly vwaps for instance you can do that too you have to set this to weekly etc um, the ready distance, I'm going to explain that, what it is. It can be set by a number of ticks or a percentage. And there is a trigger distance. You can also filter if you want to see a certain number of uh, signals. And the symbol distance is the distance in ticks from the high or the low of the bar where the symbol will be shown. In this case, arrow up, but you can change uh, these settings. So let's see what this does. As you can see, we based it around the <clears throat> R1. So that's this price level for this day. And it's um, this price level right here for the other day. Um, what this study does, if the ready distance is set to 20 ticks, is the minimum distance below that price level for uh, shorts that price needs to be in to consider a next move up to be um, available for a fade and the trigger distance is the five ticks uh, below this price level for shorts to actually trigger that signal so price is here it moves up comes within that trigger distance you get a signal fired you see that around here price didn't move below that set 20 ticks so we would we did not get a new signal here 
and it's the other way around for long. So price moves up, say this is 20 ticks, just um, making this up, I'm not measuring it, but this is the 20 tick setting, price moves up, it clocks in, okay, the next time you move down and come within the trigger distance, we will fire that uh, long signal. So that's how it works. Um, if you didn't get it at first, just rewatch it. And if you have questions, just uh, hit me up with an email. I will answer it. Um, so this is what um, that study does. And uh, you can uh, create a strategy around it. Say you wanna uh, only have <clears throat> the first signal of the day available. You can limit the uh, number of signals. So we get a uh, one long and one short on that day. That's all you get. So here you see it's one uh, short here and one long here. And you can basically set that up, set the other trader up to read this signal and trade accordingly. Here you see as well, just one signal on the short side here would be a nice trade. So if you're into fading uh, subgraph values, you can set that up. So another example here, if uh, we're gonna use the VWAP, it's set to weekly. Um, we will need to redefine the subgraph value of the signal study to be VWAP. Let's do the actual VWAP here. And this is a weekly, so we set this to week. And we only have the first signal on the long side and the short side. So you'll see that you have a first signal here on this week. Signal on the long side is already here. So this is your first long and your first short for that week. No new signals are there. So by limiting the number of signals, you can uh, actually make sure that that other trader is not fed any more signals than you want to. So let's say we want to trade this. We want to trade uh, these signals here. We um, have the other trader here. We move it all the way down. Make sure it's calculated last. Uh, we make sure there is a, a bracket here on, on the time window. <clears throat> we have a session start and stop. Let's say we're just going to do uh, one contract. So we have one target. Um, we will have a maximum total position size of one. Set good. And we want to have the time and force of day. So it's all very safe default values. And then we set the um, value, uh, sorry, the signal study value here. So it's the signal study. We have a long signal that's right here and we have the short signal which is this one um, we look at this short signal let's um, say we uh, we fire at bar close and uh, we have a limit order which is the default as well and we set that limit order to be yeah the open price of the next bar so these are all uh, safe default values. The entry is set with that. Um, then we will not uh, cancel the order. We just leave the order there. See it gets filled. And by the end of the day, it will not be filled. You just, uh, it's just canceled because it's a timing force of day. Um, then we have a First target option, uh, we can set that to uh, whatever we want. I'm going to have a fixed target value here, um, but well, let's do something different. Let's uh, make that a steady SG target value. And we select that for the longs to be that same VWAP. Uh, for the longs, it will be the top end. And for the short, sorry, the short target will be the VWAP. 
bottom band. It gives something of an option here. There's no second or third target set. The initial stop is six ticks. We keep it tight there. And um, no trail. And we will not use daily trade statistics here. So just keep this as is. You could say I, I don't want to take, um, say, a max number of uh, trades a day. So let's see where that is. Max number of daily trades limit. Let's say you just want to take that first trade. If it's a long or short, short, you just take the first one. So we will uh, set this to yes. And now it will only take one trade in uh, a day. In this case, it will only take that one trade in the beginning of the week, this one. Because that's the only um, signal it gets in this case. If you would get the second signal on the next day, you would get a new trade on that day. But this is uh, something you can set up. Uh, we can do a single chart replay here to have that tested out. And as I always do, I, I test it starting a replay with the study in the off position. So just settle in, make sure the auto trading global is set. You show your orders, see if this is all correct. And then you can just turn on that uh, strategy and it will show you it's turned on. And now we wait for that uh, signal to be to be there. So we expect that uh, that signal to show up a bit later. So uh, speed is up a bit. And uh, yeah, you can, if you would use this in real life, you just set this up at the beginning of the week, take that trade, and then you don't have to think about it. You can go and get a cup of coffee uh, to the to the men's room or the, or the ladies room and do your thing. Uh, if you come back, you don't miss that trade. It's still there or didn't fire. It's all fine. So you just need to um, let the study do its work. And that's what it's uh, there for. So that said, let's see if we, uh, we get that study going. Get that um, retrace back to VWAP should uh, actually, right now we have that 20 tick move up. So a retrace should um, fire a signal. There we go. Bar close, enter, and it's already gone. So we had that entry here on the open of the bar with the limit order. It got filled. And we had the target right there on the uh, top band. So I'll speed it up a bit more. You will see that there will be no more other trades fired. Um, you'll already see here that the max number of tra trades is reached. So no new trades will be added. And that is reset on the new day. Um, but there will not be any more signals because we filtered them. So this is a safe way to run a simple automated trading study and uh, strategy. And I hope this helps you in, uh, in your trading. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help out. Thanks. Bye-bye.